getting started at the campsite here by the river where we all squeezed in there. Uh, but it's the only campsite for miles, so uh, we had to do it and we pulled it off a little uh, uh, space engineering there. So four tents and it was a very quiet night. I think I fell asleep at 7.30, slept all the way through to four in the morning. Today we have 14 miles uh, into a little town, and then, or near a little town, and got to do a, a mile and a half, maybe, off trail, uh, and uh, get some resupply. And then we'll decide how far we go from there. And it looks like I may have to climb that. <laughs> So we've been climbing for some time and gotta go all the way up that. You can see the white blazes going all the way up. All right, we finished about two thirds of the climb and we still got more. It's all bouldery and very vertical. Um, drank the last of our water. There's another stream in a mile and a half uh, down in a ravine, it says. so. Uh, looks like the uh, terrain is uh, mountainous. Imagine that. Whee! You can just barely make it out on the second ridge of mountains. There's the obelisk from the High Point Monument. So that's how far we've walked uh, since we've been there. Just missed a porcupine. He was a little too fast getting over the hump before I could get the camera out. And there's porcupine number four that we've seen and we still got a lot of territory to cover that are full of porcupines. Oh, somebody said this stream would be a lovely place to take a break and I think they were right. So I was looking at my plan and I had planned to walk a mile and a half down a mountain, resupply in a town, walk a mile and a half back up a mountain to carry on the trail. However, if I go a few miles past that trail that goes down the mountain, there's a highway crossing with an ice cream store at which an outfit called Lost and Found Hostel will pick you up. and. Uh, and get a bunk, a shower, 
a uh, laundry and then resupply and they're near CVS and uh, Dollar General and a bunch of stuff to resupply so you can get everything, which is marvelous. And that's only half a mile up the road. So I think I'm gonna do that. It just makes more sense. It saves me three miles of walking up and down the mountain uh, to get the same thing accomplished. Plus I can upload some videos tonight. It makes Christy happy. So all in all, it's worth the 40 bucks for the bunk to get everything done. And, you know, one more time, get through the laundry and make sure all that bad detergent is out of the clothes and maybe uh, freshen them up after all the insect repellent has permeated them. So that's the plan, 10 miles to go to get to that highway crossing. A whole lot of walking over these open rock faces like this. All right, so we've just scrambled up here and now we go up this way and then you can see the rebar we got to climb. Wee doggies! Much like we did when we climbed up that rock to come over and over, up and over the top. Then we have similar here. I just want you to top the rock and see what happens. I mentioned it's about 90 degrees out on top of these rocks. Yeah. Yeah, it's 90 degrees. Not too far to go. And get ice cream. Yes. Little salt crystals on my pants. The Serenity shuttle has landed at the Lost and Found Hostel Trail Mile 1376 for a 16 mile day. And in doing so, we got to resupply, and uh, we also got out of a big storm that's coming through tonight, so it all worked out really well. Thanks for hiking with me, and remember, we're doing the impossible. That makes us mighty.